today I'm taking the four-wheeler for a change rather than grabbing one of the paramotors and going for a flight because I've had this place on my mind. It's a place that myself, Leandra, and the kids, we'd explored to a very long time ago and I have could never remember where this location was until recently we remembered that we had taken a photo on an iPhone while we were at this one spot. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and ride out there and I wanted to like try and kill a few birds with one stone by testing out this uh, snap mount that I've used in paramotoring. So what makes the snap mount really cool is that you can pretty quickly and easily snap it <laughs> magnetically onto things. It's not like the only mount you would ever need because there's no way I, that I know of that I could f mount it. Actually, I wonder if I could. Here's the back end of the magnet. I wonder if I could mount it somehow to this cap. Not really. Okay. I have the mount and I'm gonna put this behind my sweater so that you can kind of see a different uh, perspective. I, I like the angle that the snap mount offers me when, when it comes to riding dirt bikes, particularly because it, it's a chest mount and chest mounts are really common in like, whether you're riding dirt bikes or four wheelers, it's, it really gives the viewers an opportunity to see what your hands are doing, which I think is more immersive. If you have any questions about the snap mount, I don't give a f if you buy it or not, but I, I do think it's a good opportunity to tell you guys how you can make videos of your own if, if that's what interests you. There we go. I'm gonna actually test out this uh, GoPro Hero uh, 7. This is a 7 in the time-lapse mode. I've never actually used it. So because it's a long drive, we'll pop it into that and see if the GoPro does what I think it'll do. I've never used it, so let's figure it out. All right, so this is, this is generally where I know I, I have to turn off this pipeline road. This road is a service road so that they can uh, take care of the pipes gas lines I imagine. It's gonna cut up here towards the Franklin Mountains. The path, however, is not really defined, so it's kind of uh, a little bit of overlanding. The arroyo kind of serves as this natural trail to, to get to this one spot. Oh, all right. Starting to get to the to the area, the general vicinity of, of where I wanted to be, and this is really exciting because I just love the geographical changes in these arroyos. If we were to go a little bit further south towards Mexico down this pipeline trail, the arroyos uh, don't look quite as dramatic. What I mean by that is the contours in the land here just seem to be a little bit more visually interesting. So I love this area, and I hope you guys are enjoying the ride along as well. Um, currently, the ground conditions are all rock, it's like slate, slate rock, which uh, this this four wheeler does an incredible job on. But one of the things I really like about being able to explore on this four wheeler is right here we've got this like electronic throttle, and when it, I've been riding my whole life, uh, and you can only fine tune uh, your your throttle control so much because ultimately some trails are really jarring and it can kind of create this bum 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 bum. This, the electronic throttle kind of like finds an average, I suppose, depending on which mode you have. So the throttle right here uh, can be changed. The settings can be changed from work, standard, or performance mode. We're gonna go ahead and continue down this trail right here. <laughs> I, I think it's the right one, but time will tell and we'll find out as we continue to push a little bit further into this increasingly beautiful uh, landscape, so. Go El Paso. Seems as though we found a little bit of a break in the wind, but I just, uh, this is this is honestly the reason why I keep finding myself coming back or thinking of this, this specific trail is because of the way that the rocks are so geometric. 
and it, it'll continue that way as I continue to make my way up this arroyo. It's just so so mind blowing. Like I I love it. Um, I think that there's going to be some subtle changes in vegetation too, but the trail is getting a little bit more complex at this point. So if you had a side by side, it's going to become a little bit more challenging. Um, as your high center, you may get hung up on some bigger boulders that are in the trail, whereas this four wheeler can navigate around them. Uh, it's actually one of the reasons why myself and the family went with an ATV as opposed to a side by side. We had looked at Can-Am Mavericks, but their stance is so wide compared to this. So it opens up a lot of possibilities for us to be able to access deeper into trails as they begin to narrow and narrow. Uh, so so I, I, once again, really think it's a solid choice. I'm gonna go ahead and do another time-lapse as we just keep pushing. Okay, I know I said I was gonna keep pushing, but I, I only got like maybe a quarter mile up the road. And this view is just so spectacular. Right over here, we have like these two humps and I love to fly this area. These two humps followed by Anthony's nose. This section of the Franklin Mountains has to be my absolute favorite. Hence why my wife and I got married at the base of Anthony's nose because it's just so, such a pretty, such a beautiful part of the mountain. Wow. What is this video even about? This is it. Check it out. Wow. This is the spot. I finally found it again. I've got the most spectacular view. There's a lot of great views in El Paso, but this has to be one of my favorites. I mean, look at how cool this is. This is our backyard. We've got trees. When it's, uh, if, if we have a wet season, then all of this yellow uh, ground layer, ground cover of the grass, tall grass is, is much more vibrant green. But even in the way it is, right now there's this uh, warmth to the area. This is the spot. Let's see if I can get some cool time lapses real quick. <laughs> 